Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I am going to quickly show you how you can add your custom runner. So I am going to add a custom runner on AWS. Uh, the instance would be an Amazon Linux instance. You can see I have that instance running, right? So I am going to configure that instance as my custom runner on GitHub. And then in the next video where we are going to configure our pipeline, the Dockerized pipeline, we will be running that on our custom runner, okay? So let me create a new repo and I'll call this docker app, right, and let's just create this and we'll just ignore everything and we'll just go to docker app and we'll go to settings and on the left hand side you can see actions click on actions and under actions there are two options general and runners we click on runners and you can see there's an option new self-hosted runner right so when you click there so github will give you uh, instructions how to basically create a runner so for platform i'm going to select linux architecture would be x64 which is fine so now we are going to use these instructions to basically install uh, github uh, runner on our uh, amazon linux uh, instance right so you can see this can easily be uh, automated using a shell script or if you want if you're using some uh, configuration management tool you can do that as well but i'm going to run these steps one by one so let's just copy this and i have already sshed onto my instance so i'm just going to copy and paste right just copy and paste not going to use my brains just copy and paste i'll skip this i don't want to validate any hash i just want to extract this all right you copy this config enter and you get an error which says lib ICU's dependencies is missing for .NET Core 6, right? So for this, we need to install the lib ICU dependencies. So we can do it using yum. So we can do sudo yum install lib ICU and yes, let's hit enter. And lib ICU has been installed. Let me clear the screen and run the config command again. And you can see this time it is working so enter the name of runner group to add we'll just use default enter the name of the runner so i'm going to call this as runner one because you might have multiple runners for your repo right so i'll just call this runner one the runner will have the following labels self-hosted linux exist so i am going to give this another label which will be runner one runner is successfully added current enter the name of the working folder i think underscore work is completely fine we'll just leave that as default and the settings are saved let me clear the screen again and let's go back to our instruction and the final instruction is actually to run run.sh and i'm going to run this in background because if i run this in foreground i won't be able to run any command so we'll just run this in background and you can see runner has started right so now if I go back to my GitHub uh, repository, go to actions, go to runners, you can see we have runner one uh, available for us, right? To run our jobs. Uh, let's try to verify this also, if this runner is working or not. So what I'm going to do is, do, 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 do. Where is the create file option? Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to create a new file and this would go under dot github directory under workflows and the file I can call it uh, as deploy dot yaml, right? Most common. And then I'm going to write a small basically just to test so 
name would be check current working directory so i'm just going to run a simple bash shell shell command right on push uh, jobs check dir and this is the important one runs on right and then i need to get labels so i could use the existing label like self hosted because that's the label given to all the runners you had but since we gave it another uh, label if you remember runner 1 i'm going to give that label and steps name print cwd and run so we just want to run pwd command right and i think there is yeah so now this is fine let's commit our changes all right let's go to actions and create deploy.yaml you can see it is created check dir and it has completed so if we look at the print cwd which is the print current working directory it is displaying our current working directory basically the directory from where this runner would execute stuff and that would be slash home ec2 user action runner underscore work docker app docker app so this is the directory if we copy this we can go on to our server and we can see so there are currently no files but yeah this is the location from where this runner will execute uh, the pipeline all right so yeah that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to cover quickly just to show you how to add a custom runner probably you go ahead and add your custom runners to your github repo and in the next video where we are going to basically create a pipeline we are going to run that pipeline on this particular runner. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video.